In just a few minutes, find out how one woman convicted of murder is receiving a parole hearing a decade early. Rob Trisha Stella Ellison was murdered here in her own home back in 1995. Now, Stella lived here on the bottom floor, but she had a tenant who lived above her. Now, that tenant and her friend Mincy Meese are behind bars. Mincy, however, was just granted parole, and Stella's family is not happy about it. It doesn't feel like justice. It feels like now a number was put on a value of my grandmother's life. Valerie Germain is the granddaughter of Stella Ellison. In 1995, when she was 16 years old, Mincy Meese and her 21-year-old accomplice, Teresa Frazier, killed Stella Ellison at her home in Elmwood Place. Ellison was their landlord. The pair wanted money to attend a concert in Nashville, and when Ellison refused, Meese attacked. Mincy first hit my grandmother over the head, and when that did not kill her, she pushed her onto the couch, put a pillow over her, and sat on her. And she sat there for 15 minutes. In her own words, she, she said that she sat there 15 minutes to make sure that she was dead. Stella was 86 years old when she was killed. Because Mincy was a minor at the time, she received a prison sentence of 40 years to life. She could have stopped at any moment, you know, two minutes in, five minutes in instead of making a mistake. But now, because Ohio Senate Bill 256, Ohio prisoners who receive long adult sentences as juveniles like Meese have the chance for parole. Senate Bill 256 was enacted with the understanding that people came into the system that, that were minors, that were juveniles. Their brains were not fully developed. Board members voted today 5-4 to four to release Meese on parole. The worst part of this case, at least from my perspective, is the 15 minutes of suffocation. But why does Ms. Mincy not fall into that category of people who have, who would deserve a parole? The hearing was virtual, but Valerie was able to speak on behalf of her grandmother. She was a wonderful mother, grandmother, and a great grandmother who had so much love for everyone. I reached out to legal expert and attorney Mark Crumbine about the impacts of Senate Bill 256. It's it's pretty a serious change in the law. He says many juvenile sentences in Ohio could change here in the near future. We're going to find out if this is a good thing or not because we're going to find out if these the, the juveniles that became adults and are serving life sentences if they're going to reviolate. Uh, the law or not. I reached out to Sean Donovan, assistant prosecuting attorney for Hamilton County. He declined an interview at this time, but did release a statement saying in part, quote, the Hamilton County Prosecutor's Office strongly opposed Meese's release due to the brutal nature of her crime and the fact that she has only served the bare minimum of her sentence, adding that they're disappointed in the parole board's decision. Valerie tells me that she and her family are going to continue to speak out against Senate Bill 256 in hopes that it'll get rewritten. Of course, we have the details of that full bill listed on our website and our free mobile news app. Reporting live in Elmwood, Peyton Marshall, Fox 19 Now.